What's going on guys, my name is Fuzzlex and welcome back to the Pokemon Vault White Randomizer on Nasdaq where today we are in Necrea City heading back to the library because Professor Juniper requested our assistance rather urgently and yeah, let's just go and help her out. Now before we actually do that, we are going to go into our typical team recap because we do have a new member on the squad. Uh, so, speaking of, because we've just finished grinding, we have... Try Kari Cora. Now, that has been tripping me up so much, it is unbelievable. May end up changing that nickname because it is so difficult for me to say. Uh, but we have Try Kari Cora, our naive Bronzong, uh, rocking up with the leftovers to make sure that it recovers some of the damage. Uh, with a moveset of Curse, Iron Defense, Gyro Ball, and Faint Attack. Uh, with Heavy Metal as his ability. I will say. Bronzong's move pool was utter trash, first and foremost. Second of all, it is purely meant to be slow. Like, Bronzong is meant to be in a trick room team to even make it sort of like viable for going fast uh, first or anything. And one of its signature moves is Gyro Ball. And we have one with a speed increasing nature, and that speed set is still ridiculously low. So yeah, talk about wasted potential. <sighs> anyway, up next we have Team Mauer, our fate-handed shiny for alligator who's jolly in nature, wearing the rocky helmet to dish back any physical damage he may take, with a moveset of Ice Punch, Crunch, Slash and Waterfall with a sheer force ability. Next we have Day Day, our timid nature Meganium, holding the burn drive to change up that Techno Blast, with Petal Dance, Light Screen, and Aromatherapy as an additional moveset with Overgrow for its ability. And up next, we have our Shining Star Vans, our shiny, quiet High Dragon, holding the expert belt to make sure that any of the moves that you were weak to get packs that just a little bit more of a punch with Dark Pulse, Earth Power, Dragon Pulse, and Surf as a moveset with Levitate for an ability. Now, up next, we have Ryland, our bashful nature Electros, holding the shell belt to try and claw back some of that health she deals out. Uh, rocking up with Strength, Coil, Thunderbolt, and Crunch as an ability with Levity. With Strength, Coil, Thunderbolt, and Crunch as a moveset. And Levity as an ability. And then last but not least, we have the King, Lazarus, a modest nature Nido King, holding the King's Rock because every King needs a crown. Rocking up with the moveset of Flamethrower, Earth Power, Poison Fang, and Flash Cannon with Sheer Force as an ability. Whew! You will never know how frustrating today has been. <laughs> I will say that right now. But we managed to get through it. Um, so, that is the squad. That is who we're rocking out with. And now, let's get on with the story. Uh. So, Professor Juniper has requested our assistance. And I can see that there is... A few people just standing outside the library waiting for us. Oh, okay. So, I've added on Bron... Like I said, I added on Bronzong to the team. And I'm sort of regretting it a little bit because his move pool is kind of crap. And I didn't realize that Bronzong was actually a physical attacker. I generally thought it was just a bulky wall that had a better special. But nope. Physical attacks... Anyway, let's get into this. Alda told me what's going on. First, X, you got caught up in something serious, it seems. Is this it? Whoa. Isn't that the stone found in the desert resort? <laughs> it is. That's right. But this is uh, really a Dragon-type Pokémon. <laughs> Surely. When I investigated Dragon Spiral Tower, I found elements that were dated to the same era as the Darkstone. Hmm. I looked into that. Impressive, as always. But, you know, we're lucky. Because what if Team Plasma, like, noticed that old stone that time? 
That's a good point. It's clear to me that they were trying to steal the Dragon Skull so they could rev revive a legendary Dragon-type Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, so they decided to steal the skull of a Dragonite. Pseudo-legend. You need to find out the difference. <laughs> if you would, Fuzzlax, take this. Wait a moment, Fuzzlax. If you take this Dark Stone, that means you'll be the one to battle N if anything happens to me. Are you really okay with that? Yeah, I've beaten him enough times and he's killed enough of my Pokemon for me to want to get revenge. I understand. You are determined to take this duty on. Then here it is. Prepare yourself. Be strong. I see. If things don't go as planned, you'll need to use this dark stone. You'll protect the ideal future for us and Pokemon. Buzzlax, we're counting on you. Please, take care of yourself. See, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about, like, more... From, like, Gen 5 on... No, it was even in Gen 4. Where, like, Pokemon just became random items. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so, <laughs> how do we wake the Dragon-type Pokemon from the stone, then? Well, I know where Zekrom is. You can go and catch him on Route 4. Because of the randomizer. So, I mean, I just go and get one of them. <laughs> That's it. We've got them, don't we? Uh, <laughs> we got those two. Buzzlax, go to Opelucid City. The gym leader there. Uses dragon type Pokemon. The gym leader could know something. I'll go ahead and wait for you there. Until then. That's right. Opelucid City. Iris might know something. <laughs> hey, Fuzzlax. Never forget that you always have Pokemon right by your side. I'm going to head back to the lab to do some research. I'll see if I can uncover what kinds of beings this legendary poke dragon type Pokemon are and if there's any way to awaken them. Now don't worry, if if we have something for you, we'll come running to find you. <laughs> oh, sounds really serious. Um, that's about all I got out of it. Fuzzlax, do you know Opelousid City? I have said that city's name about four different times now, and I'm pretty sure every single one of them was wrong. When you leave Icarus City and, like, cross the turbine bridge it's on the other side I'm not the great I'm not that great with directions so if you need more check your town map okay oh that was a lot of voices and most of them female and I that was very awkward and I've just realized that we have to swap somebody out now to learn fly, to get our flyer back because I'm not running all the way back. So let's get a flyer on the screen.
Buzzlax. Oh, Bianca, please don't want to fight. Things I can... Uh, like what I can do in my life. And what I want to do... Oh, please, no. I'm thinking how cool it would be if to be a model like Elisa. And then how cool it would be to re research Pokemon like Professor Juniper. If that's what I want to do, I'm going to have to know a lot about Pokemon. So... Would you please battle me? Only if you promise not to have really good Pokemon like the last time we fought. Bull six. And a triple battle. We have not had the greatest of um, we have not had the greatest of times with triple battles. I'm gonna swap Lazarus uh, Lego Lever out for I'm gonna go with I want to go. Oh, I didn't even realize that Lazarus was hurt. Oh, no, Lazarus hurt. Oh, that's already put us at a disadvantage. Okay, let's get rid of the Mashana. And let's get rid of... Hopefully you'll aim for the horsey. Not confident in this at all. Come on, oh, Team Aure, you let. Why did you go after? I mean, it does get rid of the Moshana. That it. That is. She's level sixty-one, and her ace is probably ace. Ace half is probably going to be sixty-three. That horse he just set up a dragon dance. <laughs> a totemize. Is that a minute faster? Here it is. Okay. Right. Uh, well. Earth power to kill the aggro. Waterfall to kill the Herdia. I think we didn't double down on the uh, aggro. Okay, he used Dragon Dance and then Dragon Pulse, so that completely null. All I did was just raise up his speed. Because he doesn't seem to have a physical move. Please hit the horsey. Thank you. Come on, Day Day. That's it. Stop aiming for Team Aur! <laughs> and, left and I just noticed, no, her race is 65. Holy sh! We gotta remember that Agron has Protect. But it doesn't have Sturdy, so it doesn't matter. 
And we've also got to remember that Vans has just had his defenses lowered. Oh, DD, come on, girl. He used Giga Impact, so of course, yes, it's got a, it's got a heal. Stunfisk. I hate the fact that Surf hits our guys. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Back. If I if I hit We can't use Surf. I need to. I, I would like to use Surf, but we can't because it'll it'll take out Ryland. Um. Well, let's use Dark Pulse on Hernia, and then both other Pokemon of Ground type, which would be perfect if I could get Vans into the middle and then use. Surf. Um, let's try and at least crunch. And we'll try a pet dance again. I've got a feeling that we might lose Day Day. And she just fully healed her. Oh, damn it. How did it? And why did you waste it on the herd here? Yeah. I suppose that is one less Pokemon that we have to worry about. Although it would have been really nice if you had done it on the crocodile. Okay, so we just healed. I healed Ryland because we <laughs> didn't bother attacking it. Here's Power the Stun Fisk. We use strength on the crocodile. Oh yeah, I forgot the Stunfisk is also an electric type, which is why... Well, at least we didn't lose anybody. Wait, why did it show us getting confused? Oh, I thought we were going to then see that the another... Pokemon randomly. Yep, Puzzlex, you're amazing. I'm really, uh, really, really, really impressed. And that makes uh, me want to give you this. Wow, a Fulvestorm. storm. Bless the city. My precious Pokemon was stolen. So I really, really understood if Team Plasma forces everyone to liberate their Pokémon, there would be nothing but sad people. Fuzzlax, stop Team Plasma. Don't allow Pokémon to be stolen from their trainers who love them. I think that's the truth or ideal that you've been pursuing, Fuzzlax. Oh dear. Here I have come all this way and I'm afraid I'm bothering you when you're going through so much, Fuzzlax. All I want is to help. Well, do you know what would help? Stop battling me randomly. Knowing you, you'll be fine. Definitely. You'll totally be fine. 
I guarantee it. Anyway, you know what I mean, yeah? So, bye-bye. And I also can't remember if we can if we have to fight anybody. So I'm healing the team. just in case Is that gets this Congratulate you on a job well done. It is my Lord N's thought that the two holders of the legendary Pokemon should put their beliefs in, on the line and strive to find which one is the true hero. This is not necessary, however. From his infancy, I provided him with the education required to become the hero of legend. Indeed, he has been so acknowledged by the legendary Pokémon. Such purity of purpose is his. The liberation of Pokémon of which I, of course I mean Team Plasma, speaks of is the separation of Pokemon from foolish people. That's the truth. All trainers will become helpless to resist us. We alone will be able to use Pokemon. The preparations are complete. When my perfect plan is set in motion, first, a few gullible Pokemon trainers who are unable to resist Team Plasma will release their Pokemon. Then that number will become a hundred, a thousand. In no time, even the gym leaders and the champion will become unable to fight us. Having a Pokemon will be considered a bad thing. Even people like the sad little Bianca, whose Pokemon was stolen in Castelia City, will be unable to force public opinion, uh, face public opinion. And I will release their Pokemon. That's the kind of world we'll make. You may have the stone, but there's no chance whatsoever that the legendary Pokemon will accept you as a hero. So, if you're not willing to hand over your precious Pokemon, I suggest you suge uh, search for some courage. Become... Uh, because you're going to need it.
Go away, go away. It just came out. That's usually toss, uh, fling. Nobody can beat my speed fury. And it's Medicine Pichu. His Pokemon are level 61 number. Uh, I think there's going to be a need for another train. Because we are not... Uh, we are... Just staying afloat. Zap cannon. No thank you. Encounter on Route 9 is a skip blue. I mean, it's a skip blue. Even at level 50, <laughs> didn't have to do anything to it. It blooms when the weather warms. It floats in the sky to soak up as much sunlight as possible. Green Eyes, thank you so much for your support over on TikTok. Uh, I hope you don't mind being a, a jump bluff uh, or a skip blue. Glasses. Oh, that was the thing. Um, one of our Pokemon that we caught actually was holding a pair of. We could have got a Dark Ray or a. Well, I wouldn't have taken the Muck because we've had too many poison types. But we could have had a Dark Ray or a Muck. Another dubious disc. We're getting a lot of repeat bad items. Only strong Pokemon live in this game. Only the champion. I know. 
Oh, another coconut. Or a why not? I wouldn't have had that. And because why not has shadow tag, we can't leave. You brought this on yourself. I am impressed. Do you know what? I am impressed with the Toad of Die Light. I really didn't know that they were this bulky. I knew they were fierce attackers, but I didn't know they were this bulky. That just lived a. I mean, it was a stab. But still, we're 14 levels above it. And it survived a spark. I oh, mind your sparks out. Actually, the more and more I think about it, the less and less impressive it is because of all the factors. It's not stab. It's not really a strong move. It's from a clang, uh, clink clang. <laughs> I would. I think I would have taken the ferret. I think if I'd actually had the choice between the ferret and the skip loom, I would have taken the ferret. All that commotion for a cherry berry. And this is actually. I can't remember if this mall is actually active. Right, let's just do a bit of shopping. Right, TMs is what we're looking for. Although we will come back down for portions. TM. Okay, what we got? Magnitude and try attack. I mean, magnitude's not terrible. Probably should have realized how much I had. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna look up where we can sell the relic stuff. With two hard scales. Look, we got relic copper, we got relic gold, we got a relic statue. Just need to find a way to bloody sell the damn stuff. Um, don't really have a lot to sell. I probably should have bought Tri Attack more than I should have bought. Oh, what's the fight in a show?
Do you know what might be a good item if we can find one? If it, I, cause I don't actually know if it existed in this one. An assault vest. An assault vest would be really good for Timo. fact of how much we just lost. Oh, come on! We don't lose our left. That's not got such a cool cry. How did that? It's a bloody Skaroopy. And we're, we've got plus two attack. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna stop before anybody else attacks us. And actually... Uh, we severely need to do some grinding. Uh, get people up, uh, at least just get the squad up to about level 70, which for some of them isn't too much, so it shouldn't be too long. Um, but yeah, I think this has been long enough. Uh, I do apologize for the jumps because of the phone calls that I received during the Bianca fight. That was a lot of frustration. I do apologize. But with that, we're almost to the next city. Which means that we're almost to the next gym because we've actually got to beat the gym before we can continue on. So guys, if you're enjoying the series so far, remember to give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't and make sure you ring the notification bell so you never miss an episode of the Vault by Randomizer Nuzlocke. And also, for those of you who may have missed it, uh, on Saturday, uh, just gone, uh, I actually did release the video for the start of the next Let's Play that we're going to be doing. Um, after, well, the next main series that we we're going to be doing after this one, um, which is a Soul Silver Egg Lock, uh, and I want you guys to send me the eggs. So if you are interested in that and want to actually participate in the next full-on Let's Play that we do, head on over to that video. It should be linked either in the description or in the end card. Uh, give that a watch, and it'll tell you exactly what you need to do. Um, really excited to get into that one. But obviously we need to finish this one first. Um, but yeah, go check that out. 
And with that, guys, I'm going to get out of here. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.